everybody, it's uh, Eugene Lisho and welcome to Click3D. Uh, this is the program where we talk about how we can use simple technologies like your mobile phone uh, to create realistic photogrammetry models. And I'll be discussing tips, tricks, and different kinds of things that you can do. The thing that you should understand with video is that there are different types of shutters uh, on, on cameras, uh, regular cameras, and also video. And um, I'm going to bring up a, uh, a page here that I found online, and I think it's pretty... Uh, pretty good uh, but here you'll see you know it talks about the difference between a rolling shutter and a global shutter and I think it's uh, it's pretty uh, simple uh, a lot of people have seen this effect so for example where this helicopter is on the bottom uh, when you have a rolling shutter it's basically moving line by line uh, down this you know the rows of uh, this, you know your sensor kind of thing and as something is moving horizontally or up and down, you may catch it in one of the lines, but you may miss it after, or uh, it just becomes highly distorted. So on the top here, when you have like a, a global shutter, you'll see that the rotors on this helicopter look all straight and uh, look fairly normal. Uh, but here on the bottom one with a rolling shutter, you get this curved effect. And so that's something that is um, uh, fairly common. Um, so the global shutter, uh, you can think of it that it's basically just open and then close. So it exposes, uh, the idea is that it exposes all the uh, all of the sensor at once, and then it kind of shuts down again. So almost like, you know, you're blinking with your eye, you, you, um, you see the whole picture at once, and then you shut it down. So uh, I'm going to play this little uh, video here, but you'll notice the difference. Uh, at the bottom here where you get these curved blades. So it looks kind of weird. And if you have a GoPro or a phone or something like that, a lot of them, you'll see this uh, particular effect uh, all the time. And uh, it looks something like this uh, in this uh, little graphic here. Uh, if you, on the left, okay, you'd have like a global shutter. You see the, again, the uh, little wings on this windmill kind of thing looking all nice. Uh, but over here uh, where you have the rolling shutter, they get heavily distorted. So, what does that mean for you? Uh, well, actually, here's another example. This looks pretty good too. So see the rolling shutter moves down row by row by row, total shutter or global, it's just gonna expose the whole sensor at once, okay? So that's, that's the basic premise there. Hopefully you learned something with respect to video and we'll see you next time on Click3D. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.